I'm James Patterson, linebacker number eight on the UB football team. In the DMV area, the Prince George's County area is very competitive. We're some of the best athletes across the nation. You got guys like Justin Warner that came out the Maryland area. That's like a big brother to me, um, a mentor. You know, he uh, started grooming me, my brother, and a couple of my friends since we were in eighth grade, you know, including Chase Young and Cameron Sullivan Brown. I was excited to see what he has in his hands each year just to support him. You know, he, he has a couple kids of his own now. You know, he's growing up, and it's excited to see that. I was named the captain because the way I go about things as a pro. Somebody told me, I think it was my father or my mom, when you do something, you, you do it the whole way. You do it like a pro. You start now, um, start eating like a pro, start act, carrying yourself, doing things on and off the field like a pro. My sophomore year, I got hurt. You know, that's something I never, never in my career I had. I think going through that that experience, it made me a better player and um, gave me a different perspective of the game. You can al also be a, a impactful player on the sideline, seeing what you see to, and related to the people on the field. I want to be a teacher. My major is social science interdisciplinary. You know, I want to follow my mother's footsteps. She always jokes with me and my brother. Be like, it's a family business. You guys are going to be my football coaches or some of my principals that I know they want you as their teachers or football coaches right away. I want to start at, uh, in elementary school, teach some of the younger kids and impact them to work my way up to middle school, then hopefully high school. I'm coming to a realization that he's not here. You know, um, he's a phone call away. At the end of the day, we do a lot of things together. We done, we dress the same. We done the same, the same sports, some of the uh, same activities. But at the end of the day, we're on, we are our own people. At the same time, we knew that, man, if I need you, I'll be there for you. At, at any time, any place, just call me, I'll be there. The keys pass from Khalil Haas to Matt Awanowski then to myself. You know, I appreciate Matt for teaching me the playbook. You know, we in the linebacker room, we joke about how Matt used to make the playbook because he was so smart. I still call him to this day. Or I text him, like, hey, what is this, this is that? And he'll tell me. Reynolds going to fake the handoff, going to throw, fires. It's intercepted. Picked off James Patterson at the 30, at the 25, at the 20, weaving his way. Inside the 15, down to the 10. It was tipped at the line of scrimmage and right into the arms of James Patterson. One thing that's big for us is just bringing the younger guys and a lot of people with you when you do extra work and just getting better together and have a better chemistry when we're on the field. My expectation for this program is to be the best group of five there is. It's rising, but we still have a whole nother level we can tap into. James Patterson was the player of the game with 12 tackles against Nebraska. There were a number of things that he did in that game that stood out. Tell us about it. Just not surprised with his overall play and production. Uh, James Patterson, since the moment um, I, I took the head coaching job here at the University at Buffalo, um, he was one of the first guys I talked to on the phone. Um, outstanding family. Uh, we all know about his brother over there in Washington. He's a success story. James Patterson is a success story. He works hard every single day. Uh, you mentioned him being player of the game. Um, you know, we, we had a film session this morning where I showed the team uh, his consecutive tackles against Nebraska at the line of scrimmage. Uh, he's a guy that has a lot of attention to detail, how he carries himself every single week, sits at the front row every single day, takes notes on everything that we say, and goes out there and plays at an extremely high level. So very proud of him and his accomplishments. Before you got here, he was a captain of this team as a sophomore. Tell everybody how unusual that is. Doesn't happen a lot, but not surprised with a guy like James. He's an unusual guy because he just does it right all the time. I mean, he's in love with the process. He's a detail-oriented guy, um, and it just carries carries over to every part of his life. Uh, you meet his mom and dad, and you know why. You meet his brother, and you know why. Uh, just a great family. Their success story, and uh, just really thankful and, and fortunate to have him a part of this culture. It's become kind of a fun story for all of us of him for the first time in his life not playing with his brother, right? These two games have been the first games in his entire life he hasn't been playing. Is that ever come up? Is that is that something that you think he thinks about at all? I mean, it's it's so unusual what they did as twins together now to have them separate. Yeah, I tried to see if we could get Jared back right before he, he had already declared <laughs> when I took the job. back in Buffalo, but that won't be well, till next week. I need his pads on with us. <laughs> no, but well, no, we're very proud of Jared and uh, and and his accomplishments and and um, and also James. You know, they're just uh, they're a great success story. Great brothers, great people. Love talking to both of those guys. I, I sent I said uh, I sent James's brother. I a uh, good luck text message right before one of their preseason games and he hit me right back and just uh, you see both of those guys just playing at a high level they love the game of football I mean it just pours out of them how much they love football and how much they love playing the game what do you ask him to do as the middle linebacker in this defense that's always a glorified position at all level of football but it's a but there's a reason for that because it has a lot of responsibility yeah, a lot of responsibility from one from a from a communication standpoint he aligns our front he makes a lot of checks in terms of 
of our second level of the defense. He uh, gets us uh, uh, in the right fits in terms of run fit responsibility, uh, uh, echoes coverages from the safeties on down. Uh, and then also just to be a seek and destroy guy. I mean, just find ball, get ball, get the ball down. And uh, just to be the heartbeat and the, uh, of the culture of the defense. And, and you see a lot of guys just respond off of how he plays. So as we watch this game today against this very difficult Coastal Carolina spread option, how much should we be watching James? How much will watching James tell us that your defense is doing what it needs to do? Sure. Well, if you're not watching James, you'll see him because you'll see him around the ball a lot. I mean, he's just going to he's gonna get himself uh, in the right position to be successful. Looking forward to what he does against Coastal here. And it's going to take all 11, though. It's going to take every single person on defense. Um, um, uh, they're going to have some schemes, I'm sure, to get him blocked. And and, uh, and we're going to need some other other safeties and corners and linebackers in, in the front. Our defensive front did a really good job last week against Nebraska. Looking forward to those guys being disruptive at, up front as well. So it's going to take 11 guys to, to take down this, uh, six, uh, this really potent offense that we're playing. Two tackles away from 200 in his career. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a chance to do that pretty early in this one. He wears number eight, James Patterson. I'll be watching him. You'll be watching him. I know everybody out there will too. Coach, good luck. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.